was just garbage. <laughs> No way. Oh, this guy thinks he's Captain Knots. Thinks he's Captain Tying Knots. When everyone needs some knots tied, they go to him. Rock and roll is very simple. Just four counts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is rock and roll. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to live streaming. You guys are doing well. Um, having a good Tuesday so far. Um, yeah, Jen made a point that I need to set up this uh, this session, <laughs> so figured I might as well do this, especially because I've had some people uh, asking some stuff about automation and recording, um, which I think is a good topic uh, just to uh, go over because I did not do much of this when I first started, and. Uh, my mixes and my uh, projects in general stuff just kind of suffered from it so it's cool to know um, I'll be using Cubase but you can use other things as well um, before, I for before I forget um, you can donate to ASAN and get a free lesson you can also check out resistance publishing for awesome published music <laughs> check out uh, Dissonant Harmony podcast check out Swiss Picks, check out uh, Limitless Cables, which you can use the code ZAC10 and get 10% off. Um, we don't need this track. Uh, do we want that track? I don't know. I'll move it down here for now. Uh, it's just a track that I can, I'll be able to put markers on that we'll, uh, if we want. But since it's a one-take playthrough, we don't, I don't think we really need that. Um, but how are you guys doing tonight? Anything cool going on? I, uh, it'll be cool to set this up. So I should say this. The, um, essentially what's happening with this is we have, um, there's something coming up. Um, essentially... We are just setting up the session so I don't have to... Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, we're setting it up so we don't have to hit any buttons or do anything. All the all the uh, tone changes and stuff will be automatic. And uh, so I'm doing setting one up for my student who is helping me with this video. Um, and then I'm setting up uh, one... Let's I, I want to make this look pretty, sorry. Um, we're going to set up one for uh, the rhythm tracks of this song and then one for um, the leads and have it, like I said, where all the effect changes and everything happen automatically. So like at the beginning, you can have more of this. Hey, hopefully you have something good in the fridge. And it's not just cleaning out gross stuff like it t tends to be for Jen and I. <laughs> The other thing is it's going to have the, um, it's always good to hang out with a dog. Always. Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, this will be cool because then there are parts later on in the song, this part. Without the click, without the click, it gets a little hard to hear right where to start. Those, those swirly sw effects and everything like that, it can be a little weird. So there might be a part we'll, uh, where I will route uh, a click. Um, so it's good to have that just in case. Um, but yeah, so uh, like I said, my student is going to be playing rhythm for me on this. 
and uh, like there's, I think maybe even some leads. I'm not 100% sure, but it, uh, if you're if you're not familiar, route click. Uh, I'll explain that in one sec. Um, uh, well, I forgot what I was gonna say, so I'll explain it now. Um, <laughs> so the click track, the the metronome. When I do the playthrough, obviously, like you guys as listeners won't want to hear that shit, right? So, oh, don't don't apologize. It's fine. I forget what I'm gonna say, anyways. Um, so with the click, the metronome. This feels a little bit uh, a little off, actually. And this is what we need to do. So basically, I'm just getting the session ready. So. When I route the click, all that means is the, the metronome will go like directly to my ears. Like I can wear little earbuds or whatever. And then I can hear the click track, but nobody else would hear it. I can also remove it, um, you know, because we'll be recording the audio live. So um, it doesn't really matter, but I, I, I'd rather just kind of jam to it. Let's make sure this is still good. Yeah, it'll be nice because then, um, I, I mean, honestly, that's what uh, my, the people that have been asking me about automation have been uh, people that are doing it more for the recording side of things, but. It can be awesome for when you're playing live too. I mean, one thing that if, especially if you're in a smaller band, you can make your live show look like stand out. I, I, I've played in, played in and had opening bands uh, that totally blew the headliners out of the water just because they had a really cool automated like light show or had. So what you can do is you can have a MIDI track that goes out to your lights and triggers everything. So you have the same light show every night you can have backing tracks if you're into that. Some people are, are really opposed to uh, playing with backing tracks live. I, I think it's cool um, as long as it's. Uh, I mean, it's back as long as it's supportive. You know, there's always there's a there's a line where it gets really lame. Um, but yeah, so when I'm playing, this is gonna be hard enough to play. So I don't want to have to hit any buttons or foot like hopscotching or anything so uh, I'm not having many changes to the tone um, but I might add a little phaser here and there because it sounds cool um, but yeah so what we have uh, let me switch over so you can see this better for now and then I'll go to go up close so we just have the track for the backing and then we have um, the uh, two guitar tracks. So actually, I'm going to move that up there. And uh, I'm just being overly picky. Oh, hopefully this it doesn't start getting really obnoxious. But there is a concert going on outside. <laughs> oh, I hate that I chose it on that time. Um, or that they choose this time to do it, I guess is better. I've been doing this longer. Okay, so let's, uh, first of all, let's, let's just real quick, let's figure out the, uh, the rhythm tone. I think we'll be using a guitar like this for our rhythm. So we're gonna start with this, just pick out a tone and then, uh, I don't know if there's really going to need to be much automation for this one. Um, I did like Gargoyle, I remember. And we'll, we'll put the doubler on. So th this doubler thing, if you're not familiar with it, is really cool. Um, because you have a... Uh, let me get rid of these stupid mutes. Um, or hair ties. Um, so anyway, there's... Uh, it, it's not, it's not, it does exactly what you'd think. It's like a, a doubler 
So it's adding like a six millisecond or whatever you set it to delay. <laughs> forgot next not this Saturday but the next Saturday we are having a guitar maintenance and repair stream so I've got mr. Jason Andropoulos coming by the studio it's gonna be cool we're gonna talk about the, how to take care of your your, your instruments um, there's a bunch of things I didn't know that I messed up <laughs> so I feel like this will be uh, real cool for you guys um, like there's certain things that you should not do to certain types of woods that when you do them it destroys things uh, so it'll be, I think it's going to be real cool um, that is odd there's like no high end on this So, oh, and again, if you see me doing that stupid pick thing, you won't see it from this view, but if you see me holding the pick with my mouse hand, you're, you are supposed to yell at me. Um, some of these. The hard part is it's like... It's not a tone that I would normally do myself because it's a little bit... Uh, it's thick. It's like a thicker tone that I would tend to go to myself. Um, just because I mean that this is like that really thick production, and uh, like with my album that I've been doing, I kind of went the opposite and went. We're going really raw. <laughs> I always feel so s stupid talking about what my artistic vision is for that stuff. Um. All right, I don't those ones let's I want to see what this gargoyle one sounds like again we're gonna do it with uh, let's play it over that cool bridge part where the rhythms get real intense <laughs> Drop A. This is this is a floppy string for me in B. It is so hard to do those tight.
I just been playing around with these. And let's test this just in case. Put it on my Instagram if you guys uh are don't follow. Please go over there. Um we're starting to do a lot of stuff on there. And uh yeah, I put this thing up there because I'm not sure which guitar we're gonna be using. The knob on this volume pot is like so, so stiff compared to that other one. All right, that's what she said. Anyway, that's a uh, we're we're gonna be somewhere around there. I don't really have to automate that stuff right now. But what we are going to do. Let's give this a playthrough and see where we may, actually I might throw this in there, um, see where we might want to add some effects or the automation for it. I think I like the, uh, oh I should add the EQ on this too. My mic stand is so limp. Hello, check. These are the I think the best starting points. There's that one or this one. <laughs> So I kind of got distracted and wasn't uh, trying to play Evanescence. I don't think I don't think so. I'm not familiar with them really. But yeah, that's a weird one to spell. <laughs> I knew what you meant. Um. 
Okay, that works. Here's a spot where they think it'd be cool to have some effects or something. Let me know. I think for the start part, though, well, this is, I'm not going to play with this. I could. as the, the freaking moment I said, ooh, that sounded pretty good. I botched it. Alright, so as far as effects and stuff go, I think it keep it simple. Yeah, my original thought for something like that part was like, maybe, uh, maybe I could do. Uh, let me that a little lower. Um, I don't know, like just add some stuff at times. I don't need to automate a lot of the volumes and stuff like that because it's pretty much consistent. But like, I need to spot sound cool with it. <laughs> bands the uh let's switch this for a second yeah it was written on a seven <laughs> but uh whatever I've, I've just been really enjoying playing this guitar so much that i just i want uh you know, whatever excuse I can. There's really like, so for the rhythm parts, it will be a seven string, but uh, like I said, I have a student that'll be playing that. And uh, for me, on the lead, there are only three spots where it required a seven. 
and I am able to uh, kind of get around that if in ways. It's a little. I'll change it. I'm taking a little bit of uh, like my poetic license or creative license or whatever. Um. Actually, let's see here. Let's, I can show you. So really what I would do is on a couple of the parts. Um, stuff, instead of going from this string down to the 7, you can just kind of double it. Up. Kind of, kind of uh, play the same notes but in different spots. Um, there's a few ways you can kind of, you know, make it happen. Um, yeah, no problem. The, uh, it, yeah, I mean, as far as uh, the performance goes, I'm playing, I mean, I'm doing this cover and everything, but uh, I'm not too concerned about doing everything exactly, exactly. It's just kind of, uh, I'm playing all the every note, but I'm not necessarily always going to do the same type of bend phrase or something like that. I might put a little bit of, something else on it. We'll see. Yeah, making it my own. Yeah, there's a few, especially for like, say that chorus. Um, so here, let's, let's play the chorus real quick. And I, I like, you've heard it enough to know it now, but like, um, I'll change it up just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Nah, it might not be that extreme because I'm copying all the notes, right? So that would be like I don't know. Copy all the ingredients, but then you make your own. No, I don't know. Copy all. It's like copying all the measurements, but then uh, I don't know mixing them in a different way. I don't know what the, I'm trying to think of a good I got nothing. Nothing I say. Alright. <laughs> That's funny. Oh no. Oh no, that's fine. I thought I just moved it off the track. 
Let's try reverse two. But we don't fuck that up. So here I can My bad. <laughs> no, you're good. Uh, right there, I, I didn't, uh, well, what's happening right here is I had it repeating on accident. <laughs> it started j jamming up right here. God, that, I was doing okay. Um, so right now I've just kind of made the markings for it. So when I actually do the automation, I'll show you this real quick. Let's say it's like a volume at the beginning. I actually am drawing it in. So like here it would be like, I'm not gonna touch anything right now, but you'll hear. <laughs> Super quiet. There, yeah. Let me make this so it's not quite as long you'll be able to hear it like fade in kind of thing, right? So. So anyway, I didn't have to do any of that. Um, what I'll be doing as far as like, I'll, I'll be doing some volume automation. Oops. And uh, the main thing like there's a few spots in here where it sound I think it'll sound really cool for the uh, tapping part to add that phaser effect. So the phaser basically it'll be like I stepped on this pedal. So I turn it on and off. So you'll go from something like that to Probably not that part, but uh, hey, no worries. Automation, like I, I mentioned, I wasn't didn't do much of this. So like having like the volumes fade in and out, and having like things pan to different speakers, and um, like the little s things really can make a he a huge difference. You know, there's certain times where maybe the the performer it picks a little too hard, and it, it makes the uh, makes things get a little wacky and you just need to dip it down or sometimes you only want an effect to happen in one spot. 
There's a lot of reasons you might automate something. Um, but uh, let's try doing this without it skipping. Yeah, like on this part. So if I turn, let's see how it sounds. Turn the phase around for this part. it there. that high of a harmonic on uh, <laughs> on uh, the neck pickup. All right, so let's do, let's take this next verse. <laughs> that weird tapping stuff I'll engage that because that can sound I don't want to overdo it right but maybe I like that part. <laughs> the weird robot noises maybe I just turn everything on for that <laughs> I mean, honestly, if I'm using that effect, I can, it sounds like I could just it, like <laughs> go crazy with the effects and then just mess up all the notes and no one would know. But yeah, this is the part where I want to hear the click. I think.
Uh, this one, or I like the sneep starting points. Let's try this one. So now I'm actually going to jump in and do some of this automation. I'm not going to fuck with the volume because that, that would just be, that wouldn't make sense to do that now. So if, if, you're, not, if you're not familiar with what I'm going to be doing, so I'm going to be recording this live and then we are, um, God, the noise outside is starting to get annoying. Um, we're going to... Uh, record it like two tracks live, one for each of us, and then I'll I'll mix it a little bit so it sounds good for the video. But I'm not doing anything other than like the volume fades and stuff like that at that point. The big thing that we want to do, um, for me, is going to be any tone changes, like I said, or let's find no uh, cancel. What panner? Isn't that what we want? We want. Okay, so this is where it gets a little crazy. I can automate all this crazy. Oh, actually, it's, it looks nicer in here. So we want input center for the strip. Phaser pedal active. Okay, so now yeah, I have a track right here where where it will be active when I want it to be. Why is it not going back? So we're just going to start with it off.
See, I'm not sure how weird it's going to sound just to turn it on for a little part. Um. All right, let's give it a sh Let's just see what this is. That could be kind of cool. Go back a little bit. This is I can't make up my mind. <laughs> Let's try. I'm just curious how, how this effect is different. In the <laughs> Oh, my grid's not on. Damn it. There we go. Let me actually check. Shift my thing again. Let's see if it's fine. That's 
kind of weird. I turned it off for just now. I should have showed you this too, if you can see it actually. Uh, when, it's, when we play past it, you'll see this button turn on. Pretty cool. I might not end up using it as much as I'm putting it in right now, but for right now it's cool. <laughs> This is going to be cool because then I don't have to push anything. <laughs> I shouldn't have. Kind of like, see, we'll see, I, we'll see if I end up using it. But right now, I kind of am using it like a wah pedal, which I think is kind of cool. Let's go.
great as a botch it. actually eight so we're gonna do finish automating this thing and then um, I didn't want to go too long because I but my hand is uh, my arm is messed up from uh, playing so much so yeah I roll for sure so anyway I don't want to I don't want to go too crazy so um, especially because I keep doing that stupid thing I'm holding it like that um, let's just make sure there's nothing else to take through just to make sure the effects are in the correct locations and, uh, and then we're just going to call it a night for you guys hopefully it's not too bad too many mess ups we'll see how it goes but yeah like I said I just want to test to see if this uh, if those things are in the right location
That's that. Cool. All right, well, my hand hurts. Arm. So, whatever. <laughs> That's that. We're calling it a night. Um, appreciate you guys. I, um, this will be fun. So, I, uh, I'm not 100% sure when we're going to film this, but pretty soon. My student is learning the rhythm stuff, so. And I have to finish getting good at this stuff. Not quite there. So, anyway, appreciate you guys. Hope you have a good rest of your night. Um, we are around on Saturday, and then remember, the next Saturday is the um, repair and maintenance stream. If you have any questions for that, start submitting them. Um, you can obviously uh, obviously ask them live, but uh, if you maybe especially if you can't make it and you want to be able to ask a question, feel free to send them. We'll, we're going to prioritize the ones that are live, but uh, we'll definitely be asking a little bit of all of them. So, I uh, hope you guys have a good rest of your night. Thanks again.